Hey everybody, Max Monty 1516 here, back again with another Thomas Wooden Railway review, this time for the second episode of Countdown to Christmas. So today, we're going to be taking a look at both different models of WIF, so let's go ahead and get into it. So the first model here is the 2008 WIF, and this came out just a year after he was introduced in the show. So uh, looking at WIF's face here, this is of course based off the model series version, and I have to say the face here looks very accurate to what we saw in the model series, so... Again, very, very good job to learning curve. And also, Whip is the first character from the show to have glasses. And, um, of course, his glasses are just right there on his face. And overall, I just think the face looks really, really, really nice. Very accurate. And, of course, moving on to the side over here, Whip has a lot of detail. So, starting off on the side tanks here, he has his black and gold lining, gold stripes going across the boiler, and they continue all the way back. He's got his dome here, what I believe is meant to be a safety valve there. And then, of course, he also has cab window, his number, bunker lining, and then, uh, of course, the coal bunker back here, which is actually quite large. And speaking of large, it was just a very big tank engine. So, again, I really like the proportions here. I'm very glad they didn't decide to pull a Ryan and make Whiff the size of Thomas. That would have kind of sucked, actually. Whiff, Whiff's model would have been a lot worse if they did that. And I'm glad they didn't. So, anyway... Uh, Whiff also has the very unusual running board here on the side. It's printed on. And um, I really like how it's how it's done here. Like, these little um, indents on the running board actually come right between the wheels like they should on the actual model. And then there's also these gold bits in between there. So Whiff just looks overall very nice. And, uh, yeah, so nothing here on, like, the front running board. Although it is beveled, actually. It's not, like, completely sharp. I actually didn't know that until I got the model. So yeah, and then uh, of course, looking looking on the other side here, it's the same thing. And the final thing is basically Whiff has these like uh, black speckles of paint here, which are meant to emulate dirt. And I think that adds a lot of life to the model. I like this a lot, actually, because as we all know, Whiff is not very uh, not a very clean character. I think that's a good way to put it. But um, yeah, the, like, of course, he's got all this dirt on him. He, he doesn't really wash or anything, but... Uh, yeah, I, I like the different direction they decided to take here. And of course, uh, I think that's about it for this model of Whiff. Again, again, not, not too much to say, but I do quite like 2008 Whiff quite a lot. And uh, yeah, overall, very, very nice model. Now, unfortunately, this model did not last, I think, as long as it should have. Because not only was he released a year too late, not in 2007, but instead the year following, he was discontinued in 2010. So um, I don't really know what happened there. Maybe it didn't sell well, but I'm not entirely sure. Overall, though, this is the older model of Whiff here, and I think it is very nice. So next up, I'll be talking about the 2014 Whiff. So uh, when Mattel came into possession of the Wooden Railway brand, Whiff was still uh, semi-active in the TV series, and in 2014, they decided to give Whiff a brand new Wooden Railway model, and it's really, like, the same build-wise, at least, aside from the fact that his dome and safety valve are now plastic, but other than that, there really are not any changes. Um, although, I have to say, the 2014 model, while still good, is quite the downgrade, honestly. So as we look here, first of all, all of the, like, dirt speckles are gone now, Whiff is just kind of clean, it looks like he had a wash down or something. And then also, he's missing all the gold accents on his lining, which is very unfortunate. I like the, I like the gold here on the 2008 model quite a lot, and now that's gone, so Whiff looks a lot more plain. And then also, um... No, no, nothing down the side here. No, no stripes on his boiler, which is very strange. And they're also a much like uh, less shiny gold versus the 2008 model. So just some interesting changes there. And then also um, his running board is no longer like how it is on the 2008 version. It doesn't have that little like bevel or like it's not quite as rounded. It is just more like a square now. And then also... Looking at the face here, this is, of course, based off of the CGI version of Whiff. Personally, I do think this face is better, although the glasses are a lot smaller and the printing on them isn't great, so they can rub off very easily, as you can see on my model. And uh, I never got Whiff as a kid. This 2008 model is actually just, uh, just, I've only had it for almost a year now, but this is the 2014 Whiff that I have had since I was younger, and I just got this model because it was brand new at the time. And that is the, just the way I got with. And of course, uh, again, looking on the other side, there's nothing different here. Again, he's got his number, bunker lining, and everything. So, again, not too many differences here. Just, I think, a little bit cheaper here and there. Like, I guess on spending money on paint, I'm not entirely sure how that works. 
And then also speaking of cheaper, he does unfortunately have the plastic bogeys, which I did speak about in my last review, but um, no one really likes them. They're just kind of, they feel cheaper. I mean, they don't have much of a visual difference, but again, like no one really likes them. So yeah. Anyway, um, that's, that's pretty much all I have to say about the 2014 model of Whiff. Uh, there are some pretty interesting comparisons to be made between the two, but overall, I wouldn't call them very, very different models. But, um, yeah, other, other than that, I, I think that's about it to say. Thank you all for watching, and have a great day. Maximal T1516, signing out.